Trojan football is heading on the road this week to face Iowa. Reporter Will Eldridge brings us a special simulation of what we might see come kickoff on Saturday. Welcome back sports fans and video game fans alike to a college football 25 simulation of the Troy Trojans football season. Now this week, this is the second and last of a two game road streak for the Trojans. Coming off a loss, they're looking to get things together, put a win in that column. They're facing the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Hawkeyes coming off a loss of their own after losing to Iowa State at home last week. Last week, Coach Jared Parker told us that the rushing defense needed to be on par this week, and it absolutely was. Jordan Perry getting back-to-back -back sacks to start the game off, something I'm sure head coach Jared Parker will be pleased to see come the real game on Saturday. The defense did not stop putting up a fight, though, holding the Hawkeyes to just two field goals the entire first half with a touchdown of their own with 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter, putting our halftime score to 7-6 to six, Troy. To start the half, the Hawkeyes got away with a crazy block punt here. Should have been roughing the kicker, but the game did not pick that up, and then it managed to pull off a touchdown right after that for themselves. The following drive, Goose will find number 7 Devontae Ross in the end zone to tie the game 14-14. to 14. In an unexpected turn of events, that will actually be the last score of regulation, sending this game into overtime. Even more unexpectedly, both teams scored, sending us into double overtime. Iowa would then crumble under the pressure, throwing an interception at the goal line. With the pressure on the Trojans to score to win the game, they do just that with another pass to Devontae Ross to win the game 27-21 in double overtime. Play of the game obviously going to Goose Crowder after that performance. Folks, I can't believe it. I am speechless. Here's my speech. We'll see you Saturday, Iowa. Go Trojans. Reminder that in reality, that game will be away inside Iowa Stadium and is set to start at 3 o'clock tomorrow.